Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another update vi video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, welcome to my video update. Um, this week we're going to be ta talking printing, we're going to be talking bleeds, and we are going to be talking snap toolbars. Uh, but before we get in, into that, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors on Patreon. Um, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, you really do make this possible. And um, a big shout out to all of my um, people who are just here month after month, making sure that this work can get done. Um, okay, so let's get into the actual meat of this week. Uh, the first thing is, is I uh, will continue to doing the uh, multi-page work as we have been doing for the past few weeks. Um, and this included being able to save a uh, postscript, encapsulated postscript, and doing the print with multi-page documents. Um, a lot of this involved cleaning up some of the PDF work that I'd done in the 1.2 release. Uh, basically, the way this worked is um, I did a whole bunch of work that allowed you to create multi-page PDF files and um, this did not extend to creating postscript files or PS files or uh, encapsulated postscript or EPS files or the ability to do file print with multi-page. So uh, making some of that PDF code available to the other form formats, um, fixing all of the issues with the print so that you, you know, for instance, uh, tell the print dialog how many pages are available, um, allow it to select different pages to print, um, allow it to know how big each of those pages are supposed to be when they print, um, as well as all of the actual rendering uh, inter internals. Um, so that all looks good and has been tested. Um, if you want to have a go, I'm going to put a link in, in the description below. Um, second to that, I actually was I remember playing with the feature, but I was playing with adding bleed, a bleed option. It's like an advanced option to the margins, uh, which is sort of like a secondary uh, to mar margins. It's not the same thing as mar margins. And these are basically like margins that appear outside of the, of the edge of the page. Um, and to complement that, I played with some visuals uh, to add uh, crop marks just to, to, to give a visual flair and an in indication to the page. I don't know if I'll keep the crop marks though, so I'm interested to hear your feedback and whether you think they're worth keeping, even if it's just as a special sort of um, view mode. Uh, this might work well, for example, with the, when we when we get to the cropping, uh, where you only see the pieces that are available inside of the uh, page. Um, but yeah, let me know about that because because that's something where I'm like I I played with this fe feature, I've made it look nice, but is it actually going to be that that useful? I don't know. Uh, and then there's the I think the final thing that that, that I did, which is uh, I thought was going to be more controversial than, than it is, but it's not, which is reintroducing the uh, vertical snapping toolbar to the right-hand side of Inkscape. Now, uh, the story is in 1.2, Mykov introduced a pretty nice snapping dialog, uh, but it's all hidden inside of these pop-ups. The pop-ups explain how the sna snapping works, and it explains it pretty well. Uh, but it does make it so there's now two clicks in order to disable and enable each of the snapping options. And, um, you know, usually you have one or two people that have a set workflow. Uh, but this particular user experience issue was uh, grating a greater number of Inkscape users than typical. Uh, I had counted at least 12 people who had either mentioned the fact that snapping was harder or who I'd had unfortunately had to be banned from the GitLab pro project for basically causing their frustration to boil over about the sna snapping tool toolbar. Um, so it's it clearly clearly a problem, um, and I decided to address it by trying to be a little clever. Um, I used the existing snapping uh, options, the existing snapping uh, 
user um, UI files, and I can I'll augment them with the existing actions files, which means that the addition shouldn't carry a significant extra burden uh, beyond the small amount of code necessary and uh, writing a whole bunch of XML for the for basically for where these buttons will go. But as you can see, I'm hopefully going to be showing you the uh, screenshot. But it allows you to select whether you want the the, the, the snapping popover as we have in 1.2, or whether you want a uh, vertical um, toolbar as we had in 1.1 and previous. Um, so that's what I have got up to this week. Uh, but let's have a look at some of the other things that are going on in Inkscape that um, I didn't do. And uh, yeah, let's start off with uh, Nathan Lee. Um, Indomitable uh, fixed some aligned shortcuts and continued his glorious work on backporting a lot of fixes for 1.2.1. These are all of the crash fixes and other various little uh, quality of life things that will make Inkscape more solid in 1.2. Uh, Raphael has fixed a whole bunch of PDF rendering uh, pro problems. These are like real small quirks, like with markers and with filters, uh, and including a, a weird one with the size of a PDF being slightly diff different and causing white marks to appear. Um, Marin has gone through and updated all of the uh, man manual pages and some of the tut tutorial files. Uh, there's a lot of great, great work there. Um, this name is going to be hard for me to pronounce. It's uh, Adi hmm, Adi Shabir. Uh, he's a Google Com Google Summer of Code student who has been cleaning up the garbage collection code. Is basically some back end memory management code. And uh, PBS fixed some visible her, her lines and did an entire image tracing refactoring to clean up some some of the code. Um, as you can probably tell, a lot of what programmers seem seem to do is just clean up code so that uh, future features can be easily more easily developed. Um, and it's great to see that pro programmers get involved and do some of this uh, back end work because it absolutely helps make Inkscape easier to maintain. Um, but that's about it for this week. Thank you very much for watching yet another video, and um, hopefully I'll see you all next week.